Is Dragon Age The Veil Guard the final straw for Bioware as a studio? Now, in a way, this is a hyperbolic question, but to many, it's not. Bioware has been on a downward trend for the better part of a decade at this point, from Mass Effect 3's ending controversy to Inquisition, while World Received still had its criticisms of being, you know, too bloated and too similar to MMOs, you know, than an RPG. Then we had Andromeda, the worst Mass Effect game, and just mediocre pretty much across the board. And finally, the failure of Anthem. And I still can't imagine who thought that game was a good idea from a studio like Bioware, but I digress. Now that brings us to Veilguard. And while I have no skin in this game, as I feel Bioware will never top the quality of writing and world building as seen in Origins for a Dragon Age game, I still love the world of Dragon Age. Only problem is the people who created that world are no longer at the studio, or very, very few remain. You see, over time, Dragon Age, and pretty much Bioware as a whole, has been more interested in identity politics and not focusing on the core issues here, which is the quality of writing. While I have no issue with progressive ideas being inserted into franchises, but if you're doing it just for the sake of inclusion, instead of from a point of view that makes sense in the world you've created, then you're just pandering. Tosh is the biggest example here, and the way it comes across is extremely forced, in my opinion, and just doesn't fit in this kind of game. I know Bioware is probably the studio you look at when it comes to inclusivity, and that's great on paper, but it's almost never implemented properly and feels arbitrary. In a way, it's almost like breaking the fourth wall and taking me out of the experience of this supposedly dark fantasy world. Now, do I feel you should skip any game just because these things are present in them? Of course not. But if the writing or any of the game's quality suffers because you focused on the wrong thing, then that's when I have a problem with it. Now, I've seen some reviews in favor of it, and I've seen some where they think it's a step down from Inquisition. All I can do, and anyone can do, is make their own informed decision on it. I've decided to give it a chance due to loving the world and wanting to delve back into it 10 years later. But I can see some fans either waiting for a sale or just have given up on the series entirely. Side note here, my go-to romance option, Harding, uh, from what I've seen, I was spoiled on this, sadly. Uh, her romantic dilemma, spoilers, of not being able to touch is pretty much ripped straight out of Baldur's Gate 3 with Carlac. So expect something similar to that. So let's go into the hypotheticals as to the point of this video of whether the game will fail or succeed. Let's say the game actually does well, at least financially over critically. Then all hands are on deck, they all move over to Mass Effect, and things will continue to go as planned, and I pray the game doesn't ruin the magic that the trilogy created, as the Mass Effect trilogy is my favorite game of all time. I play them at least once a year, every year, and I don't want a potential fourth game to ruin it. But I have hope as I always try to look at Bioware optimistically, even all these years later, and all the stumbles they've made, I still try to look at it with optimism, albeit with eyes with rose-tinted glasses of what once was. Now, on to if the game fails. Well, that's a tougher read. I still think Mass Effect 4 will happen as the game is already in development, but many things would shift during its development. EA, as much as I dislike them for killing so many of my favorite studios or potential game sequels, will go over Bioware as a studio with a fine-tooth comb to see what the underlying problem continues to be. While I don't think Veilguard is Bioware's last straw, Mass Effect 4 certainly will be. There's only so many straws Bioware can add onto a lackluster sales pile before it breaks EA shareholders' backs and they pull the plug. Veilguard is out for the public very soon, or maybe already out by the time I upload this. Who knows? All I know is I don't want to see Bioware's name on another epitaph of studios under EA that have been closed down. But it's up to Bioware to not let that happen. Anyways, what are you guys planning on doing about Veilguard? Are you buying it day one? Waiting on more reviews? Possibly waiting for a sale? Are you hoping for the best and expecting the worst? Does like the 
you know, the DEI agendas and stuff like that? Does it like really sway your opinion that much? To me, it's a little fourth wall breaky in this kind of like setting and world, but it's it's not even close to enough to make me to shy me away from a series that I love so much. So I will always look with optimism for this type of game. It's just if they do it properly and it doesn't feel forced, then power to them. Then I I love that everyone else can get to enjoy it and have to and feel you know represented in this these ways. But let me know down in the comments. And as always, you know, thanks for leaving comments. <laughs> thanks for liking. Thanks for watching. Uh, this is fun for me to do in my spare time. I just uh, wish I could do it more often. <laughs> but as always, talk to you next time.